I'm just going to show you a little video on how I would, sorry, not the light, uh, how I would start a large canvas. This one is rather on the large size, and it is uh, 76 by 56 centimetres, so quite a large one. So this one got you quite high up, I'm actually standing for this one. So all I would do is, I would only unroll part of it start off with then I would work my way all along this section once I've got that bit done I would then turn it around and then as long as the drills are facing outwards you can roll up as you go along so harder to do without the drills being actually on it but once you've got it figured And then I literally just let it dangle off the edge. And as I work, I keep rolling it back more. Now, if you've got a foam roller, then you could use that to help you if you need to. If this will play ball with me at the moment, I'm just trying to get it to roll. Let's see. Whoop. I do have a foam roller somewhere and I'll probably dig it out as I start this one. There we go. So you keep rolling up your work. As long as the drills are outwards, like that, then they will not pop off. And I'll keep doing that until I get all the way to the end. Um, this is literally my own, all my workspace. It is literally just a bit of a computer desk. So it only just fits widthwise. Like I say, just keep rolling it backwards more and more. Oh, hello, hand. You want an apricot? One second, I will take this apricot break. <laughs> I keep them up on my table so she can come. Grab one from me. Ta. There we go. And the apricot's back. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I would do. Um, I'll probably add recordings to this as I work on it, um, so this video won't go up straight away, um, just to show you how I would, how I do actually practically do it. So yeah, take care. Hello, so as you can see I've got this large section done, all of this end done. Now how I would go about continuing to work on it is, if you have one, I've got a little foam roller that came with one of my previous diamond things. You don't have to have one. Uh, if you don't have one, it just makes things easier sometimes. So let's see how I. So what I would then do is roll up this side. Always make sure if you, whatever painting you're rolling up, always roll it with the diamonds outside. So or if they uh, go inside, they'll ping off. And then that's how I would continue. It. And then the rest of it just kind of dangles off the edge of my picture. And as I go, as I keep. As I get this bit done, I'll roll up some more and keep going, keep going until it's done. So yeah, not too bad. Four or five days worth of work. And yet you can either pin it with little clips if you wanted to. Um, or, yeah, pegs or... I've got these little tiny binder clips I sometimes use. But to be fair, this is holding its shape pretty well. So I should be alright to leave it as is and like I said, just keep rolling up as I go. So yeah, hope you're all having fun working on your own large canvases if you're working on one. Or in this case, Christmassy, wintery theme. So yeah, check in with you next time. Bye.